Yeah, I'm always honest, Joey. And, and when we plan this, we plan to have the best team here. That was in the plan. We wanted to match ourselves with the best team against one of the best teams, especially peaking for the Euros. We knew way back 12 months ago that one of the few windows you can play the best European teams in this year was the week before the Euros because they had World Cup qualifiers and very few times could you actually match up against the best team in this year. It was difficult to find and schedule tough games and this was one of the windows we could. Um, so would have it loved to have the best team here, of course. But at the end of the day, we need to have a player-centric approach, approach and look at well-being and long-term uh, process going into the World Cup. And if it means that we need to look at this camp in a different way to get the right decisions made for the players, we can't sit here and regret. And I then can sit here and protect myself and say, hey, we had a weaker team. That's why we lost and all these things. It's just we need to make decisions and stand by them. And now we made these decisions. And another thing I want to mention there as well, there's probably going to be some reactions. Why did you play such a strong team with such a, uh, you know, inexperienced roster? Well, first of all, when you schedule things, you need to commit to it because you sign a deal with the Federation to actually commit to it. But the other thing also is I think we need these answers, not short term, and especially not for me, because probably I'm going to be scrutinized now. But it's not about me. It's about the long term legacy 23 and beyond, not just preparation for the World Cup. It's also investments past that World Cup. And the answers we got now, I think, is a wake up call for a lot of people. A lot, Samantha, a lot. Um, if you start with the first half, because what we said going into this game, we said we're going to look at it as two 45-minute games uh, and get different answers in different 45-minute period. I think in the first period, we got answers that considering the experience we had on the park in the first 45 or the, the less experience we had, to commit to a game plan like that against Spain, one of the world's best team peaking for the Euros, and we're in a completely different uh, situation right now. I'm actually really happy and proud about the girls' commitment. The effort in defending, and you know when you need to play Spain, sometimes you're forced to defend in a very, very different way than we are used to. I think it was a good mix between high pressing sequences and tough pressing, and then the low block patience defending um, and then I think it was a good variation between playing long and second ball in transition game but then also at times be more brave on the ball uh, let's look at the, the goal uh, scoring opportunity we have with Mini for example and Mini by the way world class she shows that she has technique um, and tactical ability to match any player in Spain and she showed that tonight and also her her physicality her tackle in there. Um, so I was really happy with Mini and happy with the commitment on the, the teams following the game plan in the first half. Long answer here, but you, you, you asked about answers. Sorry for the long answer here, Samantha. But in the second half, we, we looked at other things. We wanted to rotate players, look at players. And I want to be very clear now that this is not about blaming an individual player on this loss. These players are more representing a situation we're in right now where we finished the game with four players playing in MPL and one player playing in college. And to expect those individual players to match up against Spain, it's not fair to the individual. But I am ready to take that hit as a coach because I said that from day one, that we need answers and we need investment in our program. And I think this was a very, very clear half where we need to make investments and players need to get an environment where they can thrive and be ready for international football. Oh,